grade 11 CAT or computer application technology students. This is the fifth video in our video series for the November 2019 PRAC exam or paper one from the Eastern Cape. It is a paper that you can use to help prepare for your exams. Please take note that this paper is out of 180. Uh, most of your papers will be out of 150 now. So this paper has a few more questions. Don't expect a 180 mark paper. But what's nice about this one is there's lots of examples. There are links to the other videos for this paper in the video description. So let's go jump into the HTML question which is question five just a reminder that at the end of your exam paper there should be an annexure with the html tag sheet which has all the html tags that you need to know we don't need to know the table ones that's from a trick but these ones all of these ones over here you should be able to know and you should be able to apply them so use this as a resource for when you are doing question five so here we are at question five we have an incomplete web page five world food day and they say the final page should look something like this so we can always refer back to this see that we make it look correctly and then i'm going to scroll down and so we want to open it so we're going to start with 5.1 but let's first look at how we're going to open the files so there is the file that we are looking at. I'm going to right click on that file and I'm going to, to edit it in Notepad++. So here is the file. It's in Notepad++. I'm also going to open this in Google Chrome so that I can see what it looks like. This is what the code is. I still want to see what it looks like. So I'm just going to double click it. Or you can say here, run in Chrome. And so here we've got the actual look of the web page. I'm going to drag this to this side so that it fills up the right hand side of my page. And then I'm going to click on the Notepad++ version so that I've got the code here and I can see the changes over here. So let's start off with the first question which says correct the HTML tags to display the text no to hunger in the browser tab. When they're referring to the browser tab, I think you can't see it over there, but you need to refer to the title tag that's inside of the head tag. If you look over here, that is incorrect. You can't see no to hunger in the browser tab. So we're going to change that. You can see they've misspelled it. So we're going to click LE there so that it's title and that should be LE there. Now you can see that it's in blue that it's correctly spelled. So when you see that, if we save it and then watch over here when I refresh it, do you see that it's updated the title to no to hunger? So that's what they wanted for the first question. Now 5.2, change the background color of the page to light blue. So that's the BG color of the body tag. Just take note with attributes. Whenever you type in the attribute, if it goes red, then you know you've spelled it correctly in Notepad++. So that must equal to the text light blue. Now I want you to take note of what happens when I spell it like that. So I'm going to save it and I'm going to refresh the page. And you'll notice that is definitely not light blue. So whenever you have a name of a color and it's two words, you must have no spaces in the color name. It must be one word. So let's save it as a one word. That's a lot better. That's definitely light blue. Then five. 5.3 center the main heading world food day action for zero hunger so we want to center this heading over here so we've got an h1 tag there so we're going to put a align attribute inside of the h1 and we're going to make it equal to the word center so let's save that see if that changes anything if we see that it's on the left hand side but if you refresh it now you can see it centered even if we make it a bit bigger you can see it stays centered just like note, you could also use the center tag. So if you put center around that, that would also center it. I can also change the alignment of the H1 tag. 5.4, add a green line and set the size to 10. Okay, 5.4, they don't tell me where, but I'm assuming that is where we want it to be. We want to add a green line, which is a horizontal rule. Now that's one of the tags that doesn't close, just closes straight away. There's no second part to it. That's the horizontal rule. And so we want it to be a green one. So we're going to say color. Remember American spelling equals green. You'll notice that my attribute is red which means i spelt it correctly if i spelt it with a u you'll notice it's not red anymore it's black so wait for it to go red you know that it's spelt correctly and they also mentioned if you remember correctly the size must be 10 so i'm going to say a size equal to 10 and we're going to save this and open up our line so over here after for your information under that marquee over there you're going to refresh there you can see our nice green line that is quite thick because it's 10 and it's then 5.5 set the font color of the text below the horizontal line to red and bold so all the text below so if I come over here, so all this text below, so I'm assuming it's just the paragraph. So we are going to put a font tag around this text. So we can go font and then we're going to close the font tag over here. 
Always remember when you click on the font tag or any tag, if it goes purple, then you know you've closed it somewhere and that it's correct. If it doesn't go purple, then you've forgotten to close it. And the property, we want to make the property equal to red. Remember, it's American spelling, so we know you. And then we want to make it bold. So I'm going to make a bold tag now. And then remember when you are opening tags, the order that you open, you must then reverse that order when you are closing. So that's why although the B tag is the last to be opened, it must be the first to be closed. So I'm going to close the B tag first, the bold tag. So it goes first paragraph font bold, but then it must be bold font paragraph in reverse order. So let's save that and refresh. And there you can see that it is red. And there we go. That's worked. Let's move on to the next one. The text food and agriculture should be in italics. So if I come over here, I'll scroll down. There's 5.6. This text must be in italics. And that's quite easy. That's the R tag, which I'm going to open up over there. And then I'm going to close it before the paragraph tag. Because remember, it's in reverse order. Let's save it. We are looking at the text over here. So just let me refresh. There you can see that it's got an italics. Then modify the list items under how can I take part to be in capital letters. If you look over here, we've got an ordered list and it's numbered by numbers. So if I come over here, let's go scroll down. It's got an ordered list. So the ordered list for us to have the setting for that, it's always what the first option is. So if we want the first option to be a capital letter, what's the first capital letter? That is a capital A. So we're going to set the type to be capital A. And if I save that, and refresh that you can see it's now a b c d up until r 5.8 we want to insert an image below the listed text so let's go find that point 5.8 okay there's 5.8 we're going to come over here we're going to put in an img tag and close it immediately because that's one of the tags that closes immediately it's the hr tag the horizontal rule the image tag and the break tag those are the ones the br tag those are the ones that you don't have two tags for it just closes immediately and they say the picture must be that file name which is already in the folder so that's going to be the source so if i say the source equals to that file that's not going to work because we need the full file name. If I come over here, that's the picture. You can see it's JPG. If you can't see the extension, you can just right click on it, go to properties, and you should be able to see what type of file it is. So we can see that it's a dot JPG. So let's save that just to see that the picture is loading. I just want to make sure that it loads. Let's refresh. And there we can see our picture is loading. That's great. So what are the other properties they want me to make? The height and the width must be 200. So that's quite easy. We can say the width property equals to 200 and the height property equals to 200. That's quite easy. Then they say that WFD must appear if the picture is not being displayed. That's the alt tag or alternative text equals to WFD for World Food Day. So if the picture isn't working, in, that is what will be displayed and the picture should be centered okay so this is a bit of a problem i'll show you now so let's save it and just view it so our picture is nice and it's on the left hand side but if i want to center it if i say a line equals center this isn't going to work if i say save and then refresh it doesn't actually center it a line equal to left will align the picture to the left of the text a line equal right will align the the picture to the right of the text but if you want the picture in the center there's two ways you can either use a center tag so we can actually use the center tag here and put that around the picture let's close the center tag there so that's an option so let's save and refresh or you could have actually had a paragraph and set the alignment of the paragraph to equal the center and in this case we're going to close the paragraph over here so that's another way to center image to put it in its own paragraph and that will do the exact same thing so those are your two options for centering an image there we go and then the last one insert a hyperlink for the text for more information that's right at the bottom we're going to put an a tag around it and then another a tag to close it that's going to be my link and we want it to go to a particular website to that website over there that's the website we want to go to so that's going to be the href attribute is going to equal to the website name now if i do it just like that that's wrong that's going to look for a file with that name and you'll see over here if i refresh it you'll notice that it's a hyperlink there we go but if i move my mouse over it you see it's actually if you look here it's looking for a file destination we don't want that so we have to put the http colon slash slash in front of it so when i do that you can see if i refresh it now you can see now it's referring to a website so if i open that in a new tab you can see that it's opened up over here and there's the website so we know that it's working save everything i think that's the whole question done yes that is that's 20 marks now all we have to do is the last bit so let's go to the last integrated question
please show some love for the channel by clicking that subscribe button and sharing us with your friends remember we have another channel called at mr long computer terms for theory and on tiktok at mr long education share us with love for the sport and remember don't do the long way do the mr long way